Hello YouTube. Today we're going to check out our new recoil laser tag game. This is the Game Hub unit. Pretty cool system. The only problem we've found is that the range is not all that great. So I've seen a couple of guys on Reddit that have uh, improved the performance by simply replacing this antenna. So we're going to try that. Uh, I didn't see any good videos on YouTube about how to do that, so we're going to check it out. See if we can't do it. Okay, so the antenna we're going to use, uh, I just bought these off Amazon. It was like 12 bucks for two of them. This is a 2.4 gigahertz, so just a plain old Wi-Fi antenna that um, is uh, supposed to add 6 dB of gain. So I'm always kind of skeptical of those claims, but uh, we'll see what we get. I'll put a link um, to the exact product in the comments section. Uh, if we get this working. Okay, so the first thing I've done is just remove the battery cover, just a single screw, screw, and then there are four screws in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. Okay, so I've removed those four screws. Uh, one of the things I have learned over the years from taking apart a lot of electronics pieces is that sometimes the cables inside are just barely long enough, so I'm gonna be careful not to pull too hard or too far to see what's underneath here. So I'm just going to gently take a look. And this is just, looks like just the battery compartment is all this is. There's actually a lot of space in there. So, and it looks like we've got four more screws there to detach this base from the top. So I'll go ahead and remove those. So I've removed those four screws and we're going to just gently take this piece off and see what's underneath. And that's just a pass-through for the battery connections. So that whole bottom portion doesn't really serve any purpose other than holding the batteries. And I can see what we need to get to right here. This is what's called a UFL connector. That's where the antenna attaches. And that's the same connector that's on our antenna here. And believe it or not, that's actually a snap-on style connection. But before we're going to mess with it, I'm going to go ahead and remove these four screws. This is like a clamshell case, so we'll take this apart, give us a lot better access to this connector. And with those four screws removed, and we're going to have a moment of truth here. This is oftentimes where stuff comes flying out or springs come popping out or crazy stuff happens. Hopefully we won't have that. Let's see what we get here if we try to... Gently pull this apart. Looks like that antenna wants to kind of fall down. Okay, so that just folds out in half. And looks pretty simple. So this is our existing antenna that we're going to replace. You can see the difference here. And so what we need to do next is just get this connector off. Probably peel off that hot glue and uh, try the new one. Right. So I've just taken my pliers and peeled off the big blob of hot glue here. There's still a little bit left on the other side, but that's okay. So this connector here, it's so small, I'm debating about how to get that off of there um, without damaging the circuit board. And I think what I'm gonna do is just try to hover over it and um, just grab it at the pliers here. Give it a little bit of a twist and tug, and there we go. That was easier than I expected. Just check a look at it real quick. Just a real small circle deal. Looks to be about the same as our other one. And make sure all our wires are still good here. Looks okay. So now, I'm just gonna try to Pop this one back on. Actually, I don't remember what the orientation was. Get it lined up here in the center. There we go. Should just be a firm push. Need something flat. There we go, and we pop that on. 
that one's easy. Okay. Okay, so we've got all that set up. Um, and this new antenna has a different style connector on it. This will just screw on. Um, it's too big, though, for this hole in the existing case. So I think what I'll ultimately do is probably 3D print a little adapter doodad to go in here that I can then fasten stuff to and screw that down. But for right now, what I'm going to do is just reassemble this. And I'll just have the antenna loose, and maybe we'll tape it to the top or something. And I just want to test and see if this makes a difference and if it's really worth going through the trouble of 3D printing an adapter and doing all that stuff. Okay, so here's our temporary mount. You can see we've just got the cable coming out. That's from the UFL connector that we snapped back on, screwed into the back of the antenna. And then for now, we've just kind of taped it on here. You, you probably could actually, there's probably enough room in here if you wanted to, you could drill a hole and actually run the cable inside and through. But like I said, I think what we'll do is just make a little mount here with our 3D printer on the top. But um, So moment of truth here, it looks like we do have a good signal. So we're connected. And um, I'm just gonna put my phone in here as if we're really playing. And we'll walk back and see how far away we can get. Okay, so we tested with the new antenna. Um, and I would say it's not a, a significant difference. Um, indoor, uh, I will say that we did not have a single dropout. Um, so it seems to be a, a nice update uh, indoor. Outdoor, um, it was the same or, or perhaps slightly better um than the stock antenna so uh, we'll see we'll keep testing it and keep you posted a uh, pretty simple project no soldering required um we'll get it cleaned up you know and make it look a little more pro the other nice thing about this project is that we could also because this is a screw on connector we could experiment with different antennas now uh, or even a, uh, a, a wi-fi amplifier if we wanted so um, we'll maybe check some of that stuff out and let you know.